to make the galaminometer. Mm-hmm. What you need? Battery! Battery clips! The wire. The galvanometer. Electroscan card. The pointer. One paper clip. Coil. And the knife switch. First you place the battery in the galvanometer and make sure the negative terminal is on the right. Next you place clips on each side of the battery. Next you place a coil on the galvanometer. Make sure the wires are going clockwise. Next you attach the looped end of the wire into the clip. Next you place the electroscale card into the galvanometer. Make sure the black line is in line with the groove. Next you unscrew the screws to the switch. Now you attach the wire to the loosened screw. Attach the coil to the loosened screw. Make sure the knife switch is open. Attach the wire to the other end of the battery clip. If you're having troubles keeping your pointer in line at zero, you can try adding a paper clip to help. Now place the pointer on the galvanometer and make sure it's in line at zero. And now we flip the switch. Wow! When you flip the switch, it closes off the circuit, which allows the electrons to move freely throughout it. When it goes through the coil so many times, it makes an electromagnetic field, which moves the magnet in the pointer, which gives you your reading of 20. The end. You've been a lovely audience. <laughs>